Hello everyone, welcome to my Parabi beginner tutorial. In this video, I will show how to use clip and slice filter. So the clip filter, uh, you just select your seller to find data, which we created, uh, applied in the last video. And to apply the clip, you press the clip icon here. And then by default, we have a plane in X normal. Uh, and if you just apply, you see on the only the right left side of the your data is removed and only you have the right side and if you want the other way around you can just say inside out and apply and if you want to have a different plane uh, different uh, axis normal then you can just change it here I mean, these clips are pretty useful when you want to remove certain part of your domain from your visualization and most importantly the, uh, the box uh, clip type so here you see if you the plane is always visible so if you don't want to uh, see this you can also remove this so we keep it now yeah and the next one is this clip type if you go to box i mean you can have different type of uh, clip so to decide which uh, how you want to restrict your visualization so if you, let's say the, see the box so if you the box you can select an area so let me select this area maybe more closer to the cylinder and then i just apply yeah so you see we have only the elements near the cylinder so some of the elements are removed here because in the z axis we have very small box so if i make it bigger we then we get better yeah so uh, next we will apply the um, slice and before that i just go back apply it to def default plane and i want like to show you something else because why we need a slice in this 2d test case So if I rotate here, you will see the elements in the Z direction. So even though it's a two dimensional test case, the elements, uh, in the coarser level, we have only one element in Z direction, but as you go finer and finer, uh, we get more elements in Z direction because we use the R3 data structure. So every time we refine an element, we always create eight elements so in the z each direction it's a two element so if we have more and more elements as we go towards the uh, cylinder so i'll just move this plane second more closer yeah the, i'll just apply the clip yeah you see we have more and more elements in the z direction as we go near the cylinder so if you want to apply the streamlines and the glyphs then it uh, have more in the z direction but since the values in the z direction are exactly the same so it doesn't make sense to uh, apply the stream calculate streamlines and glyphs in the on the uh, volume of on the z direction with more elements so we should we apply slice for that to reduce get only a specific plane so go to your cell data to find data and click slice filter and just apply so by default it will again shows one chooses only this x uh, normal plane but what we want is in the z direction z normal so we will just click z normal and apply Yeah, here we go. So now we have only a slice. So if you rotate it, now you see this just a plane. Yeah. So it looks much better. So I just remove the plane to see just a slice. Yeah. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay. So in the next video, I will show you how to create streamlines. I hope you like this video. 
If so, please click the like icon below and press the bell icon to subscribe to this channel for more Paravi videos and showcase videos of APES simulation framework. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.